Hey everybody, it's Stan and welcome back once again to Send Newts. Hope everyone's able to find some ways to keep high spirits during these tough times. Personally, I've taken it upon myself to cover one of the most confusing topics of the amphibian world, and that's slimy salamander identification. This North American group of salamanders of over 50 species from the genus Plethodon get their name from the slimy secretions they produce when threatened. Now, slimies have a special place in my heart because the first salamander I ever found was actually a slimy salamander. Now, what better way to start this video than to head over to that first log that I ever flipped to find a salamander. For the first individual, we'll be right around Charleston, South Carolina, and this is what's known as the South Carolina Slimy Salamander. You can already see a lot of dirt sticking to its body because it started secreting its signature sticky residue, probably because I just broke into its home. No big deal. Though there are many species in this group, they all have this sleek black look with a few to many white spots like this individual here. Slimies are just a cute group in general. Look at those eyes! It's like a freaking black hole and their body's like space. Boy, that's cute! Okay, I want you to look at the salamander now. Remember how it looks. Let, let this picture marinate in your head real nice because we're headed elsewhere. Up the state, right around the city of Columbia, this is the Atlantic Coast Slimy Salamander. Okay, now hold up, 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 hold up one second. This is where everything gets really confusing. I'm only about 100 miles from the last place where we found that salamander, and you're telling me that these two that look exactly the same are different species? And with that, we delve into what is known as the slimy salamander complex. Originally thought to be a single species, Plethodon glutinosus, commonly referred to as the northern slimy salamander, the complex is now recognized to be approximately 16 different species, with very small or no morphological differences. These different species were determined by scientists studying DNA of slimy populations across the US. But as you can see, this individual only has spots on its side and not down its back like that South Carolina slimy salamander we saw earlier. And that's where the biggest variations are between species and individuals. Spots can be bigger or smaller or sometimes have gold flecking in them. Overall, as a group though, they can get fairly large, ranging from 12 to 17 centimeters or five to seven inches like this adult here. Also being known as the woodland salamanders, they're one of the few groups of salamanders that skip the aquatic larval stage and have offspring that hatch from eggs straight into the terrestrial adult forms. That's crazy. Salamanders are born and they already know how to hunt and catch prey. Humans are born and you're basically a magic cart for the next four to five years of your life. Now for the most part, geographic ranges of species are very well defined. And you can be confident in identifying slimies strictly by location. Like this white spotted salamander that I found right outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, but if you go to Western Virginia or the Eastern Kentucky area, good luck because the range of the Cumberland Plateau salamander and the Northern Slimy salamander overlap and they look basically the same. There are some rules that people use for determining the two in the wild, but those are out the window when you learn that slimies living in close proximity to each other actually hybridize. Meaning this individual I'm holding right now could be a cross of both species. Not that it matters anyway, because I can't tell. Regardless of what species it actually is, if you ever find one of these outside, you wouldn't be wrong just to identify it as a slimy salamander. All right, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like at the bottom if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more send news in the future, and thanks for watching.